إلهي يو إلهي رب نصير ربي يو إلهي رب نصير إلهي دولة هنا سو قرب ربي يو إلهي دولة هنا سو قرب إلهي دولة هنا سو قرب ربي يو هذا سي عون حوار حارك أي حارك أي أرد عون هي حارك يس حارق ودك أي عون هي أرك جيل وحارك يس عون أسرة كورس كيس ساس كل عون هي from southern Ethiopia to northern Kenya and Somalia, swathes of land are being ravaged by a devastating drought. Four consecutive failed rainy seasons are putting 20 million people at risk of starvation in the Horn of Africa, according to the World Food Programme. At normal time, we usually have droughts. Uh, you know, the, it's a cyclic thing. You know, it keeps coming. You know, previously it used to be every 10 years. Now it's coming more frequent than than before. One million people have been driven from their homes due to a lack of water and pasture. And at least three million livestock animals have perished, the UN says. In Ethiopia, these semi-nomadic herders have lost everything. <laughs> In 2017, East Africa endured a harrowing drought. Early humanitarian action averted a famine. But in an earlier drought between 2010 and 2012, 260,000 people died of hunger in Somalia alone. The UN says it's partly because the international community did not act fast enough. The puzzle is, you know, as soon as they know they are, they are trying to recover from the other drought, you know, the previous drought, they are hit by, that, by, by the second drought. So it's make, you know, it makes them, it, you know, impossible for them to, to recover quickly uh, from the pre pre previous, you know, shocks. According to UNICEF, 10 million children in Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya and Somalia are in need of urgent life-saving support because of the crisis. Lack of clean water is increasing the risk of disease among the youngest. In this hospital in Ethiopia's Gode, some are receiving treatment. We come across uh, some of the mothers who, because of they are not fed, they are not getting any food, they are not producing enough, enough food for children or enough feed, breastfeeding for children. The back-breaking work to keep their herd alive often leaves parents with little time to care for their children. Many are so ill by the time they get to a doctor that they have to be hospitalized. <laughs> A donor conference in April raised almost $1.4 billion for the Horn of Africa. With this, the UN hopes to be able to avert another humanitarian disaster in the region.